This video is going to show you how you can use R to assess the internal reliability of a scale. I'm going to talk about two different statistics, one you're probably familiar with, Cronbach's Alpha, and then another one that you may be less familiar with called McDonald's Omega, which is usually the statistic that I prefer when I'm reporting reliability. If you want to read up on these things, I'm not going to go into detailed maths in this video, I'm just going to show you how to do it. There's a couple of references below this video that you can click on and that'll give you some more background information as well. And as ever, the code itself and the data of this video is based on is available online as well. We only need to use two packages. And we've got the read Excel package to read in our data set and the psych package, which does all sorts of different psychometrics for you. I've already got these installed, but if you haven't, you'll want to install these. But of course, we will need to pull them out of our library. And then we'll just turn off scientific notation because it's the habit I have to do. So the first thing we're going to do is just read in our data set. So it's just called the liability. Got a nice short file path for me. So just read it in. And I've just called it DF. So for data frame, I'm going to run this in and we'll view it quickly. So this here is scores that I've simulated for the pain catastrophizing scale. It's a really commonly used scale to assess how people um, feel when they experience pain. It's a 13 item scale, a score from zero to four. I'm just going to attach this as well. The first thing we can look at, we can look at the overall reliability of the scale in full. So does the overall scale, if we're viewing this as an overall score, does it have reliability? This is really easy given the nature of the data set because the data set just contains the scores on the scale. We just simply need to type omega for our data frame. Now, obviously, in the real world, you tend to have lots more information than just the scale scores and the data frame. And don't worry, in the example, when I do the subscales, I'll show you how you can subset your data relatively easily. So we're going to just ask for omega for our data frame. And this command will produce us our McDonald's omega, but it'll also give us our Cronbach's alpha and so on. So it's a nice straightforward thing. It gives us a very large output though. And we'll be ignoring large portions of this because it's a bit beyond what we've covered today. But this is the big output for it all. It's just because um, it's based upon a factor analysis. This, but we can see we've got some information here. We've got alpha. That is our Cronbach's alpha statistic. We've got G6. That's Gutman's lambda six. We've got omega hierarchical, omega asymptotic, and omega total. And the three I'm going to be looking at today, we're going to talk about Cronbach's alpha, omega hierarchical, and omega total. So overall, the full scale, Cronbach's alpha is pretty good. It's very good, in fact, it's 0.96. And you can just report this by just saying Cronbach's alpha equals 0.96. However, there are, there are some issues with this. There's some recommendations that you should actually shouldn't use Cronbach's alpha for looking at multidimensional constructs as well. And this scale does have some scales that I'll come into later. So it may not be an ideal measure. So omega total is essentially the internal reliability of all the factors that are in the model. And it doesn't sort of differentiate between specific factors. So are individual factors that make up the scale and what we call a general factor, sort of an underlying construct that's causing variance in all. So this is just basically the total amount of reliable information in it. And it tends to be a little bit higher than uh, Cronbach's alpha as well. Now we also do have omega hierarchical. What omega hierarchical is, it's the reliability of the general factor, of the general factor, the general underlying construct that's causing variance in all of these things, while controlling for the variance caused by the specific factors. And as you, as you can see, this is a bit lower than um, omega total. And we can report our 
omega hierarchical if we wanted, just by using omega and then that subscript italic h, or we can talk about our omega total. And it depends on what you're trying to talk about from the scale. Are you referring to a general factor and so on? Probably if you're using a scale as an overall score, then maybe the, the hierarchical one, which just measures the general factor, Maybe that'll be more suitable for what you need, but it depends on what information you want to impart to the reader. So that's how we do but basically turn on liability. Now, the thing about this scale is, and about many scales, there are actually subscales to them. And in this scale is no difference. It's got three subscales, rumination, magnification, and helplessness. And these are the items that make up each of those scales. So we can produce our reliability statistics for each of these subscales. So let's do rumination first. First of all, we just need to assess the four items, eight, nine, 10, and 11, that make up the rumination subscale. We can tell R that we've got four items that make up fact one, fact one, put fact one there. And then we say, I'm just going to call that run for rumination, not for the drink. And say run is, from my data frame, I want a subset, which is fact one. So I tell it, these make up fact one, and run rumination is those items, fact one, and taken out of my data frame. And now I can ask for omega just for run the rumination. And here's my output. And then again, you can see we've got our from back to alpha and our omega total here as well. We're just looking at the single subscale, so we just need to look at our omega total here. And then we can just repeat this process for all our measures. So for factor two, you've only got three items, six, seven, 13. I've got that magnification, so we can run that. Now, if we don't want to see the full output, what we can do is we can our uh, omega for mag uh, magnification output. We can just call that. So I'm going to call it magnification. So we've saved that. And now we can ask for the different statistics that we want. So for magnification, I want my omega total 0.84. If you want a hierarchical one, we can ask for omega h. As you can see, when you type in it, it will auto-complete for you. Here we go, H, so you don't have to remember everything. So we run that, this would be very low, but this is hardly surprising given the three item scale. And we, we're not interested in that anyway. And here's our Cronbax Alpha as well. There we go, 136. And finally, let's just do it for factor three, helplessness. So it's made up of a few more items, and again, in this case, I'm just going to save the output as helplessness, and then we'll ask for the specific things, so I don't have to troll through a big output, let's just run that. There's our omega total. There's our alpha. Of course, if we do want the full output, type helplessness, run that, and there we go, we've got our big full output there as well if we want and that's how we can produce both Cronbach alpha and McDonald's omega the two variants of it as well in a relatively straightforward manner in our 